G.R. Carter Jr. didn't raise the bar, G.R. Carter Jr. set the bar. G.R. has been riding horses his entire life. In fact, his parents had a picture of him on a pony on their porch at just two years old. Since then, he has spent his life dedicated to the thrill of high-speed races and working with some of the best American quarter horses in the industry. G.R. grew up in the ranch and rodeo community. He excelled as an athlete and won state championships in gymnastics and wrestling. But what really mattered was horses and roping. Loves instilled in him by his late father, mentor, and favorite roping partner, George Robert Carter Sr. Jockeying wasn't on his radar until he was 14 years old when he met Gene Hearn, who trained AQHA racing champion Pacific Dan. Gene told GR he would be a perfect jockey due to his experience with horses, in addition to his grit and determination as a result of his background in wrestling and gymnastics. Soon after, he quit gymnastics and figured that it was time to start galloping racehorses to make money for roping and rodeo. I grew up in uh, Pahuska, Oklahoma. I'm native Osage Indian. Pahuska is the capital of the Osage Nation. The Osage County Fairgrounds, they have the, uh, the rodeo arena, and I grew up right across the road. Around the rodeo arena at the fairgrounds is, is a racetrack. And a lot of the trainers, whenever I was growing up, still train there. After I started galloping racehorses for some of those guys, I would. that's how my career got started. Then after school started, I would gallop in the mornings before school. People hauling horses in. I might even meet someone out there at lunch break. I could take at least one horse during lunch break. And then I might go back and gallop some after school. That's what I wanted to do, and I wanted to get on horses and... I had to make myself available to those guys whenever they, whenever they wanted me. Between my sophomore and junior and junior and senior years, I galloped horses uh, for uh, a trainer named Bill Lau at, at Hughes Birch Creek Ranch, was a training center farm that uh, I started helping. And uh, Bill is really the first guy that took me to the, to the races and taught me a lot of things that, uh, that I was going to need to know about the real races. Bill got killed in a, in a car wreck when I was a senior. He's the one guy that I wish I would have known how it turned out. When asked if he remembered his first official race, GR smiled and fondly reminisced about his first official mount and first official win on Memorial Day weekend in 1984 with Bees Jester. GR was just 16 years old and he only had recently obtained his jockey's license. Bees Jester was, uh, you know, she, she was a really special horse because she was my first winner. She was just a really good family mare. I mean, there was, there was faster horses out there, but uh, she meant the world to my family. Everything that I know about horses, I, I pretty much got that start and that basis from my dad. Dad was all in with whatever I wanted to do. I really wish that he would have been able to live and, and, and uh, savor this moment of this, of this happening. GR, the all-time leading everything jockey, is American Quarter Horse Racing's record-leading rider with 25,700 mounts, 4,013 wins, and highest money earned, having booted home the earners of more than $75.9 million. In 2008, GR set a single-season earnings record of more than $5 million, breaking the previous record of $4.5 million that he set two years earlier. He was AQHA champion jockey 10 times, twice as many as any other rider, including six years consecutively from 2003 to 2008. Retired jockey and longtime racing steward Jeff Williams remarked, With all of GR's achievements, his induction into the Hall of Fame should be but a formality, but there's another aspect to consider. I personally witnessed his entire riding career from the time he came on the scene at Blue Ribbon Downs until he retired. I was in the jocks room with him and he was very involved at every track he rode. I can honestly say he has set the bar for every quarter horse rider, not only by his accomplishments, but also by his character, integrity, work ethic, and professionalism. His dedication to doing his best and being the best made everyone around him better, the same as it did for the entire sport of quarter horse racing. Known for his signature backflip dismount, the highly sought-after rider racked up 386 wins in stakes, with 100 at the grade one level, including 20 restricted grade ones, including twice in the sport's marquee event, the All-American Futurity. Falling in love again wins the All-American Futurity. GR Carter finally wins the All-American Futurity. Are you surprised? No, uh, 
I'm not surprised, I'm just overjoyed. All those years of putting in hard work at Blue Ribbon Downs, California, back and forth across the United States, they've all been trying to get right where I'm at right here today, and I'm just overjoyed. Stoley's winner, Jeff Beck, Patriots, Stoley's winner, Stoley's winner wins the All-American. GR Road winners of the rich All-American and Los Alamitos Super Derbies. Scored five wins in the Heritage Place Futurity, three in the Los Alamitos Two Million Futurity, and one in the Texas Classic Futurity. Along the way, he also picked up the most wins in American Paint Horse and Appaloosa racing, scored 335 victories aboard Thoroughbreds, and nearly 5,000 wins among breeds overall. Today, GR lives in Oklahoma City with wife Shana, whose father, Jerry Burgess, rode champion Bugs Alive in 75 to win the 75 All-American Futurity. GR hung up his flat tack in 2018, but whether heading or healing at a local jackpot or roping steers at Pendleton and Cheyenne, he never hung up his rope. In 2007, he was half the team that won the Pro-Am at the 2007 World Series of Team Roping, and he and his dad won the 2005 Southwest Regional Finals in Albuquerque, New Mexico. GR is still very active in the American quarter horse racing industry. He is an AQHA director and professional horseman. GR is also the chairman of the AQHA Racing Committee, a member of the AQHA Racing Council, and president of the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, a recipient of the Sam Thompson Memorial Award, and member of Team Wrangler since its inception. GR has traveled to Mexico where he tutored jockeys and served as an AQHA ambassador promoting American quarter horses. He is a former vice president of the Jockeys Guild, a board member of the Permanently Disabled Jockeys Fund, an American quarter horse ambassador for the Jockeys and Jeans charity, and has been inducted into the Remington Park, Lone Star Park, Rio Dosa Downs, Oklahoma Horse Racing, and Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Halls of Fame. It has truly been a lifelong passion for GR. It's no major secret about horse racing, and what I like to tell people. You know, I tell someone, oh, I figured out the secret to success a long time ago when someone will ask me, and they'll be all ears, and I'll tell them, if you know you're riding the fastest horse in the race, it really helps your chances of winning. It's still not a guarantee. You can still screw it up, but overall, if you're on the fastest horse, you uh, have the best chance of winning. But the way to be able to get on the fastest horse is no different than anything. Hard work, dedication, being relentless. You know, I rode for 35 years. Looking back on it, it's almost surprising even to me to think that I rode my first race when I was 16 and my last one right before I turned 51. And for 35 years, I was all in. That's what I did. That was my identity. I treated it as a profession, dedicated myself, and got rewarded for it. Thank you for your contribution to the American quarter horse racing industry. Please welcome G.R. Carter Jr. into the American quarter horse Hall of Fame.